All right, you're here at the Ken Erickson Cycles booth with me, Kent. Um, I'm here to show you my favorite bike in the booth besides every other one. Um, this is actually our number one seller has been the road bikes. Um, and this is kind of the newest, latest, greatest road bike. What's different about it, I guess, would be the disc brakes. It does make a lot of sense if you have really expensive carbon wheels. Um, and if you live in the mountains and want superior braking, I think there's a real future for it. Um, this one would be available soon with some through axle wheels if you wanted them, but it wouldn't be real practical. I mean, the only thing about disc wheels is that they're not going to be practical if you have a wheel wagon and you want to, you know, you get a flat and you want a wheel, you know, you're not going to have any brakes. Plus, the rear end is going to be 135 spacing. Um, but anyway, our road frame these days for the racers generally features a fork that would be the tapered steer fork, either by Envy, oh gosh, there's quite a few of them out there, Triple T makes one, um, uh, I noticed uh, TRP's making one, and uh, Whiskey Cycle Components. They're all carbon fiber and they got the bigger headset at the bottom with a bigger, stronger tapered steer fork and then a standard top area where the reg any old stem will work. This one has one of our stems, custom stems. And we also feature a custom seat post on this one uh, that we make. But the frames are very light. They're almost as light as a, a carbon frame. Uh, here's one right here that weighs about 2.6 pounds. And it still has the big down tube, one and three quarter down tube, and a really big top tube, but they're really thin wall. And uh, the bigger chain stays. We don't charge anything extra for the big tubes, except for the chain stays are an upcharge of 125 bucks. And uh, this one would not have the discs mounted. That would be for a regular uh, rim brake on this frame. But they can end up being anywhere from, uh, you know, 15 to actually anywhere from like 13 pounds to 16 pounds for a complete bike if you put race components on it. So um, that orange bike's another version of a really light bike with really light wheels. So that would be a, like a 13 and a half or 14 pound bike over there. I ride that one once in a while. And... Um, the Capius wheels are pretty special. They lent those to us. They're out of Denver, Colorado, and uh, Russ is uh, uh, one of my racing buddies that I don't know that well, but uh, it's only because he's so far ahead of me whenever I race with him. He, he raced the Breck Epic with, with us one year on a single speed and pretty much schooled us every day. Um, and his son Brady runs the company with the wheels and does a great job. Um, he's also a really fast racer. Um, we're pretty uh, lucky to get feedback from Steve Tilford, the Cromungeon, and uh, from our own, very own Brad Bingham, who just got second at National, national uh, Mountain Bike Championships, I'm sorry, the Fat Bike Championships in Utah, uh, to a very experienced racer, Ned Overing, who won. But uh, anyway, that's a pretty tough company. Travis. Brown was third, and, and Brad was a real player in that race. But uh, we expect to, we get a lot of great feedback and, you know, from, from really avid cyclists that we're lucky enough to uh, associate with. Um, so, yeah, it makes it a real fun process working directly with the customers.